Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel called Statistics from A to Z, Confusing Concepts Clarified. These videos are based on content from my book of the same name, which is published by Wiley. For more information on the book and these videos, please visit statisticsfromatoz.com. This video is the fourth and last in a playlist on variation in populations. The playlist also includes individual videos on the other concepts shown here. See statisticsfromatoz.com slash videos for the latest status of my videos completed and planned. The scope of the book, like most introductory books, includes first and second semester college statistics. That scope is about statistics and populations. But unlike most other books, my book also includes the statistics in processes, which are covered in the black belt level of Six Sigma. So I will also plan to do these additional videos on variation in processes. I said in the previous video that standard deviation was a fairly straightforward concept, so there may not be a lot of confusion that needed to be clarified. Standard error is the opposite. It is an abstract concept that many people find hard to understand. Some authorities say that it is nevertheless important to have an intuitive understanding of the concept. Others disagree. I tend to disagree also, but here's a video which is my best attempt to clarify the concept. As usual, in the book and in these videos, we'll go quickly through a list of keys to understanding, or KTUs, to give you the overall picture on one page and then we'll go into detailed explanations of each of the keys. For this concept of standard error, there are five KTUs. The first key to understanding tells us that standard error is the standard deviation of a sample statistic. The second KTU says standard error can be found in formulas in inferential statistics. There are different formulas for different types of standard error. The third key says standard error and standard deviation have similarities and differences. The fourth key says standard error is provided in the output of regression analysis and other tests. The fifth KTU gives the definition of standard error. Standard error is the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of a statistic. And here on one page are the five keys to understanding the concept of standard error. You may wish to pause the video at this point and read them all together. Okay, now let's begin our detailed explanation of each key to understanding. The first KTU says standard error is the standard deviation of a sample statistic. Now what exactly is a statistic? A statistic is a numerical measure of a property of a sample. For example, a sample's mean, or its variance, or its range, and so on. In inferential statistics, we collect a sample of data from a population or process, then we calculate a statistic from that sample data. For example, the sample mean. We use the sample statistic as an estimate of the corresponding property in the population or process, the population or process mean. Note that the word statistic is used only for samples. For populations or processes, we use the word parameter. The mean of a sample is a statistic. The mean of a population is a parameter. The word error in standard error does not imply that a mistake has been made. It's just a way of saying that any statistic calculated from a sample can be expected to be less than 100% accurate as an estimate of the corresponding parameter of the population or process from which the sample was drawn. To a considerable extent, standard error plays a behind-the-scenes formula. It is used more frequently as an interim step or as a component of formulas than it is a statistic in its own right. There are different formulas for different types of standard error. The standard error of the mean is the standard deviation s divided by the square root of the sample size n. 
Next, we see that s divided by the square root of n is a component of the formula for margin of error. So we could rewrite that formula as MOE equals standard error of the mean times its critical value. T, the test statistic, can be described generically as the difference between two means divided by the standard error. The formula for T is different for each of the three types of t-test because the standard error component of the formula is different for each. And last, here's the formula for standard error of the proportion. Key to understanding number three, standard error and standard deviation have similarities and differences. A compare and contrast table like this one is often a good way to enhance one's understanding of a concept. Here we compare standard deviation with standard error. In this table, consider the word population to represent both population or process. Standard deviation can be calculated using the data in a sample for a population while standard error is only calculated for a sample. Both standard deviation and standard error measure variation. For standard deviation, the individual data values are the items measured for variation. For standard error, we calculate the variation of sample statistics. For example, we would calculate the means of each sample, then we would calculate the variation among these means. Standard deviation is the standard deviation of a sample or population, well, standard error is the standard deviation of a sampling distribution. More on that in KTU number 5. The standard deviation is calculated as the square root of the variance. The standard error has a number of different formulas, as we showed in the previous slide. Key to understanding number 4. Standard error is often provided in the output of regression analysis and other tests. In this output from a regression analysis, the standard error in the third column is the standard deviation of the three variables in the first column, intercept, bedroom, and bathrooms. Now the standard error here may be of interest to some, but the deciding information in the regression analysis is in the p-value or in the 95% confidence interval. KTU number five provides the definition of standard error. Standard error is the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of a statistic. Normally, one might start with the definition in explaining a concept, but this one is so abstract that it probably inhibits rather than helps understanding. If you've understood everything up to this point, it may not be worth trying to make sense of this definition. If you do wish to proceed, it may help to view my video, Sampling Distribution. What is a sampling distribution? It is not the usual distribution of data values like a normal distribution or a binomial distribution. A sampling distribution is a distribution of sample statistics, not of data values. Here's an illustration. In a dot plot, one would show each data value for the x variable as a dot. The dots in any stack all have the same value for the x variable, and they are all in the same distance range from the mean. Here in instead, of dots, we have x-bar symbols. Each x-bar symbol represents one mean of the sample, so this illustrates a sampling distribution. The x-bars in any given stack are all in the same distance range from the mean. The standard deviation of this distribution is shown as the standard error. However, this illustration only shows a sampling distribution with 33 means. The, de the definition of a standard error talks about the sampling distribution. The sampling distribution is a theoretical concept. It is the distribution of all possible samples. In practice, since we can't usually measure all possible samples, we use formula like, formulas like those shown under KTU number 2. Okay, that concludes our clarification of the concept of standard error. If you like this video, please remember to press the thumbs up like button on your screen below. I'll be making more videos of some or most of the 60 plus concepts in the book if folks like you tell me that more videos are wanted. Please subscribe to this channel to be notified when new videos are uploaded. Also, the website statisticsmadaz.com has a listing of available and planned videos. Now, videos like this one can be very helpful, but they're not very handy when you want to quickly look up something on the job while studying or during an open book exam. For that, nothing beats a book or an ebook. You can also learn more about those on the website. 
I'd recommend following my blog at statisticsfromazcom slash blog. I've got some things there that hopefully you will find interesting, like a statistics tip of the week series, as well as posts showing that you are not alone if you're confused by statistics. I'll also be posting on the Facebook page, Statistics from A to Z, and on Twitter as at stats A to Z.